What's going on everybody? I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a shop project. I know you guys enjoy those. This will be a storage solution for air tools and all of the brad nails and staples and staplers and everything that goes with it. If you're like me, that stuff just kind of lays around the shop because you don't use it every day. So I wanted to come up with a solution that was easy to find them. They're always there when I need them, similar to my drill charging station. And uh, I think it came out really cool. I will have plans for this build and I'll put them in the description down below. But uh, let's get to it. I had a half a sheet of three quarter inch ply left over from a cabinet that I built for my laundry room. So I figured I'd use that up instead of buying another piece. I always like to lay down a piece of foam insulation to cut on. I started by drawing out what would become the sides of the tool station. Then I used my track saw to cut it out, but you could do the same thing with a circular saw on a straight edge. Once I had the first one cut out, instead of measuring and using rulers and things like that on the second one, I just laid the first one on top and traced it out. It made it a lot easier. I used the same process to cut out all the shelves. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not very good at figuring out angles with measuring tools. So I like to take like a relative measurement, so to speak. Uh, so on this piece, I want the shelf to be angled the same as the side. So what I'm gonna do is just set it up here and make it even with the top. And then I'll just make a pencil line right there. And then I will put a uh, measuring tool on there and see what that angle is. And then I could set my saw to that and cut the shelves. I got this angle gauge from my dad a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was my grandpa's originally, but it was pretty rusty when I got it. So I actually restored it and now it works great. And I use it all the time. It's pretty cool to be able to use old tools. Once my blade was set to the correct angle, I could run the shelf through. And I used the same process on the other shelf as well. Then it was time to drill the pocket holes. I drilled several in each shelf, making sure to drill the bottom side of the shelf so they are a lot less visible. Now you could just stop here and leave the edge exposed like this so you see the layers of plywood, but I wanna do something a little bit different, add some contrast and just make it a little more unique. So I grabbed some walnut edge banding I had left over. This is from Fast Cap. This is actually just stick on, so you can pressure roll it on, trim off the edges and you're good to go. No iron, nothing like that. If you guys want some more information on how to apply this, I actually made a video on it. I will link that down below so you can get more information there, but uh, let's get this stuff stuck on. I really do like this edge banding for quick projects like this. It's not sponsored or anything. I bought all this stuff with my own money, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I use it all the time. It's really easy to apply. Like I said, I do have a video on how to do it exactly, but a basic rundown is stick it on, use the pressure roller to activate the adhesive, trim off the edges, and then use the edge trimmer to finish it off. And then you can bevel it with the sander. And that's it, you're done. Once I had all the edge banding done, I went over everything with 180 grit just to get it all finished sanded before it went together. Uh -huh. 
Then it was time to assemble. I used the second shelf as a spacer to make sure that everything was square on the top side. Definitely use clamps anytime you're using pocket screws because if you don't, when you try to screw it together, a lot of times the piece that you're screwing into will move away from the piece you're screwing from, and when it pulls back together, it'll be out of alignment. So definitely always use clamps. Also, I hardly ever use glue on shop projects. You can if you want, and it will definitely help, but the pocket holes are plenty strong for what will be sitting on this shelf. I cut a three inch nailer out of the same ply and attached it with pocket screws. That's what we use to hang this on the wall. For a more finished look, I wanted to add a back to it, so I cut out a piece of quarter inch ply. But before I attach the back, I wanted to get the couplers installed on the underside of the shelf. That's what will be used to hang the air tools from. So I got some male couplers, marked and drilled the holes accordingly on the underside of the bottom shelf, and then threaded them in. The wood is pretty soft, so they made their own threads, and they actually hold really well. I did use glue on the back panel because it would just be attached with brad nails. One final sanding to flush everything up and then it's on to finish. On shop stuff, I usually just use rattle can lacquer and apply about two, three coats. It gives a little protection and makes the color pop. Then it was time to hang it. Now don't make fun of me for my unfinished wall. Probably gonna be moving here in the next year or so, so figure I might as well not put any more work into this one. I gotta level and attach it to the studs. Then it was time to load it up. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I'm stoked to have a place to put all my air tools and everything so I know exactly where they are when I need them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Also, like I said, there will be plans for this and I will link those in the description below as well as all my other plans. Until next time, you guys check out the video up in the corner. We'll see you on the next build.